Hello, everyone. Return to Secret Paradise Channel. This time we'll talk about Railways in general Train There is a means of transportation in the form of vehicles with mobile power. Whether it runs alone or is coupled with other vehicles. Who will or will be moving on the tracks? Railways are means of mass transportation that generally consists of from locomotives to vehicles with self-driving power and a series of trains or carriages coupled with vehicles others the rail is the foothold on which the train wheels roll and serves to pass the load of the wheel to the bearings materials used in the manufacture of the railway itself include carbon manganese and sulfur rails are used on railway lines the rails direct or drive the train without the need for control Rails are two rigid rail rods of the same length mounted on the same bearings as the base of the runway. The rails are fastened to the bearings using rail spikes, tether screws, or e-tether. The type of tether used depends on the type of bearing used. Threaded buku or tether spikes are used on wooden bearings, while e-tethers are used for concrete or cement bearings. Rails are usually mounted on top of a row body, overlaid with a tumult stone known as ballast. Ballast works on railway tracks to dampen the vibrations and flexibility of the tracks due to the weight of the train. To cross the bridge, they used wooden pads that were more elastic than concrete bearings. The shape of the rail is designed in such a way that it can withstand the moment of the rail so that it is formed as a bar in the form of a profile. Divided by its shape, the rail consists of three types, namely Two-headed rails, double bullhead rails Grooved rails Vignola rail, flat bottom rails Presented transversely, the rail section in the image above can be explained as follows. The head is designed according to the shape of the wheel surface to obtain a good combination of travel quality and minimum contact. The rail agency, web, is designed to produce enough shear strength to protect damage, especially around the rail connection hole. Foot rails are designed to provide stability due to rolls and fields for tethering, with a flat base plane for even distribution of loads to bearings. Uses of railways As a runway where the train goes. As a medium where friction occurs. As a foothold where the wheels roll, the train does. As a place to pass the load of the wheel to the bearing. Properties needed to support rail functions. Wear resistance. Heat resistance. High melting point. Material that is heavy and strong. Capable of withstanding force or load. Operating conditions. If we look at the railroad, we will see that there is a gap at any given distance on the rail. Why is a gap needed? The answer is to avoid curving, bending, rail steel due to temperature changes that occur. An object will usually reach its maximum if it is at a high temperature or when it is heated, and it will shrink if it is at a low temperature or if the object is cooled. At the time of the temperature of the object, too. The initial temperature of the object, the length of the object is low, the initial length of the object. After being heated at temperature T, the final temperature of the object, the length of the object also changes to L, the final length of the object. The change in temperature is delta T, and the difference in the increase in the length of the object is delta L. The treatment that is done to get the properties that support it is heat treatment. Gravel rocks around the railway bearings have a main function as ballast. The goal is to keep the position of the rail stable when the train passes in any weather conditions. In addition, the collection of pebbles also has the function of absorbing vibrations and reducing the shaking that occurs when the train passes over the tracks. Of course, if the railway tracks are only propped up by a pair of steel wheels, the force produced by the railway cannot be muted by the rails. 
that way, the force caused is likely to have an impact on the occurrence of shifts and changes in the shape of the rail. Railway bearings prevent the growth of wild plants and erosion. The function of gravel bearings is not only to maintain the stability of the tracks and trains, but as it turns out, gravel has the function of inhibiting the growth of wild plants at the base of the railway. With piles of pebbles, sunlight is blocked from shining directly on the ground under the rails, so as to prevent the growth of wild plants. The railway's gravel function. Small stones or pebbles serve to keep the right and left bearings in position. That's why small stones or pebbles should not be round and smooth, but rather rough and irregular. If the shape of the stone or gravel is round, the rail bearings can shake so that the distance between the left and right bearings changes. Of course, if the left and right bearings change, then it is very dangerous for the train itself. Wooden boards installed on railway tracks also have almost the same function as small stones or pebbles. By being tied to wooden boards or concrete cement, the distance between the two railway bearings can be fixed and not easily changed. That's all about the video this time. See you at Channel's Secret Paradise soon.